I asked a Christian, what happened to your power against the witch? What happened to your power against witches, voodoo doctors, scorpion, and over power of your enemy? Jesus Christ has given us instruction about having power over our enemy. A witch is our enemy. What I say, a witch is our enemy. If you are a Christian, talk to God. No witches should be running from you. Hallelujah. Witches should be running from you rather than you running from a witch. And in time you are a Christian and you are running from a witch, you have done something wrong with your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What I'm saying, my friend, the Bible say they were sons of Sevas. And the son of Sevas, they went into the temple and this man was possessed with demons. And the demons cry out, say, Paul, I know. And Jesus, I know. Who are you? And the Bible say, those demons whipped those men clothes off. They came out naked. And the Bible say, the church fear. I'm talking to somebody right now. Hallelujah, you being attacked by the witch. You are attacked by witches. You are attacked by voodoo doctors. And I'm telling you what to do, my friend. The Bible say, glory to God, we have the power over the enemy. And nothing by us shall any mean hurt you. If you are a Christian, we are a mighty power of God. Because the Bible say, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against spirituality, against power, hallelujah, uh, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. The Bible says he give us power over our enemy. Scorpions and hallelujah, glory to God. If you are a Christian, you should not be running from a witch. Why, preacher? Because we have the greater living inside of us. Hallelujah. And I'm telling people, my friend, if you are a running from a witch, that mean that means you have done something wrong. You out of the border. You are you out of protection from God. You have done something wrong. When when the children of Israel were defeat, were defeating the battle. Joshua and Moses say somebody have committed sin. Anytime you sin against God, hallelujah, that means that the ark of protection has been taken down. Why? Because you let sin have came into your camp. And if you are a Christian, glory to God, we should be careful, hallelujah, hallelujah, of committing sin against God. I know we're not perfect, but my God... Hallelujah. Glory to the Bible says, come out from among them and be separate, said the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I receive you unto myself. So we don't run with wolves. Hallelujah. We don't run with goats. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We don't run with people that don't know God. Hallelujah. If they don't, if they don't want to be saved, my friend, don't bother them, but pray for them, but don't walk with them. The Bible says, how can two walk together except they are agreeing? So what happened to your power against the witches? Ah, glory to God. I tell people, my friend, if the witches are attacking you, that means that, and they are, they are winning, they are prospering, that means that, glory to God, you have done something that you entangle yourself with the cares of this world. And the witches get an advantage because you've done something, my friend. You are entangling yourself with the witches. What happened to your power against the witches? Hallelujah. Should no witch, hallelujah, put no spell on you. C come on, come on. Should no witch into your dreams. Should no witch be taking advantage of you in your dreams. The Bible say he gives us beloved sleep. Hallelujah. He never slumber no sleep. I'm telling you, what happened to your power? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When 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 Saul say, say Samuel, I kept I kept the commandments of God. Paul uh, Samuel said, What's the bleeding in my ears? 
Hallelujah. You know why? When people sin, my friend, you can tell when they sin because they get, the, the devil beat them up. Witches attack them. You can't play. You can't play with a fire. The Bible says, can a man put coal in his bosom without getting burned? I'm saying to you that watch my video, the Bible say obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience, my friend. You got to obey God. If you want the battle, hallelujah. You know, if you want to win the battle, you got to be obedient to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know y'all y'all carry a Bible. I know some of y'all go to church. Well, so the church are closed now. But but I'm telling you, it's better to be obedient than sacrifice than the ram of bulls. Hallelujah. Y'all got to obey God. Obedience. The Bible says his, his, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. His commandments are not grievous. It's not hard to serve God. The reason why it's hard because you're not praying. The reason why it's hard, you're not studying the word of God. The reason why it's hard, you're not talking to God. But what happened to your power against your enemies? Hey, glory to God. I tell you, the Bible, glory to God, in James chapter 4, verse 4, it say, the adulterer and adulterers know the friendship of this world is in between, between Christ. God don't want you to run with them. God wants you to save them. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. God don't want you to sex with them. Hallelujah. God wants you to tell them about the sweet smell and Savior. You can't run with people, hallelujah, and have sex with them, and then you switch over and say the Lord will save you. No, the Lord needs to save you. Yes, you. Stop playing with fire. You won't get burned. Except you, you repent, you shall likewise perish. So what happened to your power? What, what happened? The, these demons, these witches, they, they wear you out. And you're wondering, what happened, preacher? I'm telling you, the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah, stop being obedient to God. Stop playing with God. God ain't no play toy. Hallelujah. It's time for you to be safe. Hallelujah. C -c Come on. It's time for you to give your life totally to Jesus Christ. God don't want glory to God half of you. God wants your whole body. And you're wondering, preacher man, I'm, I'm being whipped by the witches. Preacher man, demons are wearing me out. You need to stop being obedient to God. What happened to your power? Glory to God. If you're in charge, the charges, what the charge, my friend? The charges when you pray to God, when you read the Bible, when you have fellowship with God, when you walk the, the tight rope with God, the way is strict, my friend. Strict is the way. Hallelujah. Strict is the way. Straight is the way. Strict is the way. And broad is the way. And many there be that find it. What happened to your power? against the witches hallelujah why why come on you know why you know why when glory to god when joshua will lose the battle he say somebody sin against god i'm telling you if you want the battle in your life you gotta live right if you want a battle in your life you gotta be this to god amen hallelujah what happened to the power what happened to your power, sister? What happened to your power, brother? You powerless. Take glory to God.